What's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Mel Flow, aka Mr. Let's Get Let's Go. Bring y'all my but another series. Oh, how to make adjustments part one. How to make adjustments part one. So we just gonna come out in a basic, simple. Oh, what's the popular defense? Like ah, uh, I like to use the like a type of dime defense. Uh, let's just say we running with something like about like say we running with something like ah. Uh, Ah, the, the three double bucks, you know. So just part one, I'm going to talk about quick adjustments and then manning people up. That's it. So I know I told you, like, how to lock down any offense using a DB fire, but a lot of people are like, I don't use that. I just need to know how to make adjustments. Teach me. So I, I got you. I got you. So a popular formation, something like this. Boom, right? Boom. First thing you want to do, say I'm in, like, a cover three something or... Damn, let me switch to a real ass cover three. All right, y'all, there we go. Man. Boom, boom. First thing you want to do, if, if he's running slants on you, he's running drags on you. Uh, first thing you want to do is man people up. That's the first thing I'm going to talk about. This is what this video is about. Manning people up in this game is probably the most important thing you can do on defense. So you want to do that. The way you want to do that, if you want to man people up, the linebackers, you hit RB twice. Boom, they let it pop above their head. I can do this. Boom. I'm man you up on A. Bow. Bang, bang. So you hit RB, RB twice. All they letters pop up. You can put them in zones. You can man them up. But I like to man up the corners. So first thing you want to do. Never want to man somebody up from in front of them. Second thing you want to do, you don't never want to man somebody up like this. Like you don't want to do this. Third thing you want to do, you don't want to. You don't ever. The other rule, you always want to man people up from across the field. What I'm talking about. In this case, I would do this. Okay, he keep running that slant with a right. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna man you up and make sure like if it's a receiver, a linebacker. I'll, I I like to man linebackers up on receivers sometimes. That because I got players like Zach Brown on my Austin team. All types of different players. So make sure you know the personnel. Don't be out there. Oh, I'm going to put Tom Lee on eight. Then when he get burnt, you come in my comments. It just doesn't work. Tom Lee, 74 speed. Fuck you, man. Of course it don't work. Like like this. I'm looking like this. I'm like, all right. That tight end earth got some pretty good route running. I'm going to man him up here. I'm going to man him up there on both. So then if he run a drag or something, it's over. So if I'm worried about RB2, I do that. Now I'm using this guy. And then the other thing, you always got to play smart. Play smart. Okay, the flats is open. What can you do about that? You have linebackers on the D-line, right? So all you got to do, hit LB twice. Get to your line. Boom, put them in flat. Now that you you know how to make adjustments, so now I know everything on that field side of the field is locked up. So the only thing I'm probably watching for is X, right? That would probably be the only thing I'm watching for. So I'll probably use this guy because X isn't manned up. Y'all going to see when they run the play, it's like boom. Y'all just see how, how it flows. Now that time, that linebacker did get burnt. But that because uh, he can't cover Jordan Matthews. Not many people who can do that. So now that I saw that, I'm like, okay, he can't cover Jordan Matthews. Let me try this. Let me do this. So now I got somebody else on him. I can use it, this guy. Now they run a play. All right, boom. He He's still burning Barry with that because Eric Barry, I guess, slow. Jordan Matthews just got that Chris Rock running. But y'all see what I'm talking about when I say uh, manning people up is the most important thing you can do. Uh, especially from across the field. But don't be getting crazy with it. Like, uh, always know... Let's see, here's the other rule. Like, y'all see how he just met this guy. Like, he just met him there. Boom. How you doing? How your day is going? But, like I said, this is a highly requested video. So, this is why I'm bringing this to y'all. The other thing you want to do. If you take something away, make sure you make sure you always, like, know your weaknesses. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people be like, okay. Like, like just like I explained. All right, I'm going to man this guy up. j, -J I'm man that guy up. I did this. And now I'm, I'm getting beat on slants. You know, somebody do this. Uh, they, they put that dude on the slant this time. He running this. So now when this happens, j Mail like, yeah, I, I did exactly what you did, but I'm getting beat. You always got to know, like, all right, I just took this dude out of his zone. So I'm vulnerable there. You know what I'm saying? So something I would do is be like, all right, I'm going to just do this. I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to man him up there. So I know I'm not vulnerable. I might use this guy. I might do that. Then I might just rock, rock the running back, and then I might use a beat. Now, now, this setup can probably take away everything. And y'all see, like, y'all like, bro, that looks so dumb. You got a man up across the field. Like, it looked like you about to get toasted. Like, no, sir. No, sir. I'm going to show y'all why. I'm going to, like, when this play just developed, I'm going to show y'all why. Uh, now, Eric Berry, oh, their time you get to get toasted. But y'all see what I'm talking about. How y'all can take away everybody reads on one play. And it's not like you, and I'm not vulnerable to anything because I'm always watching out for my weaknesses. The, biz, the biggest thing you can do on defense is know your weaknesses and and. Fix them, like you know what I'm saying. Fix that area where you're weak, where you're weak at. I don't care if you set up a blitz and like, and at the last second you realize, oh snap, the flats open. Like most people, are like, well, if I if I if I put this guy in the flat, then the blitz won't work. 
would you rather get gashed for 15 yards or you rather try to get a little a little cute ass blitz in you know what i'm saying you don't want to get gashed for 10 yards in a flat so do what do what you got to do to take care of the weak spots on the field but also you don't always have to cover the field all the time if you want to take a risk and leave something open you can do that but if you ever gonna leave something open make sure you can't get beat deep like don't ever say i'm gonna pick the corner in the flat and leave leave it deep open you know what i'm saying have a safety like you know what i'm saying have a safety like in the middle just in case he do don't throw to a fight and he strict that guy he still won't get a touchdown he might get 30 yards but he won't get a touchdown but y'all see like when you take everybody reads away y'all like well jay the running back open i just gotta adjust to that next play that's it but y'all see when you take all they reads away this is what happens so again you want to keep hitting why why you don't ever want to click on people to adjust them. You can start off by doing that, like getting the game with your friends. You don't ever want to start doing it. After a while, you want to start doing this. Boom. You want to start using, like, then look, I stayed on this user the whole time. And look how my freaking, look how the freaking field looks. Look how crazy that is, y'all. Like, just look, I stayed on one user the whole time, and that's how the field looks. Now, if they do something like this, like, you know, how people run quick slants. They do something like this, y'all like, whoa, whoa. Y'all see how everybody just got locked up? Did y'all see how what manning people up? It just, it take away the whole, it's, oh my God. Like, y'all see all my gameplays. Like, people get manned up. The only thing they can really do is ag you. But y'all see, in the beginning, like, every time y'all see me run my defense, y'all gonna notice, like, damn, his people just, where are they running at? They're not in zones, they're not in nothing. This shit look crazy, right? Shit looks so crazy. It, look how crazy that look but that because when you do that you're like j metal running back wide open that's just me i i didn't adjust to it that's my fault i'll get it next time but i hope this helped you i'm gonna bring y'all part two on how to make adjustments next we're gonna talk about zones zones gonna be the next because that's the next big most important thing so i hope you enjoyed this but until then part two coming 100 likes i give y'all part two but until then it's your boy either way i'm gonna get y'all part two let's just get 100 likes but it's your boy j flow aka mr let's get it let's